Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R. In this session, we are going to learn how to handle missing data. Missing data many times create big problems during analysis of data. And you cannot calculate many statistics or you cannot fit models if missing data is there. And there are very good packages in R which handle the missing data. Those packages are MICE, Amelia and Miss Forest. In this session, we are going to learn how to use these packages to impute our data. Data imputation is replacing the missing values with the most probable values which are there. We will first see how to visualize the missing data and we are going to use air quality data uh, to learn uh, uh, the data imputation. Air quality data set is the data set which contains many missing values and is a very popular data set to learn how to handle missing data. And I use the view function air quality and please remember that this V is uppercase and when we see that we will see a spreadsheet like uh, visualization and these NA values are there and these NA values are there in ozone and solar R these two columns and many NA values are there. Now we will see uh, how to visualize those NA values and for that I am using the package library vim and if you are not installed package vim you can go to tools install packages and type in package name vim there and package will get installed or alternatively you can use install.packages install.packages and type the package name in inverted quote here the dialog box is open I will type the package name select it and click install package will get installed or you can put that name here and run this line package will get installed I have installed it I will not run this line and the AGGR function of package vim visualize the data air quality and run that and you can see here that almost 24 percent of ozone is missing and around uh, zero point around five percent of solar r is missing and if you omit these we can omit that we'll see how many rows are getting omitted in end row na dot omit this function omits the missing data and you will get the rows with complete data only we'll run that 111 rows are retained and total rows of that air quality data are 153 we'll see that and 42 rows are omitted and we cannot afford omission of these rows because we lose much of our data around along 24 percent of the data will miss and for that purpose we need imputation and for that we are going to first learn how to use functions from package mice and I will call library mice for that library mice if you are not installed mice you can install through tools install packages type in package name there click install or you can have that install dot packages also and I will run this line now library uh, mice is there and I will give the name to the imputed data that uh, air quality underscore in and use the function mice when you type mice you will get this uh, tooltip text this is the help for the mice function the first argument is the data m is 5 means 5 iteration you want or 5 different imputations you want to carry out then method is equal to null many different methods are there and by default that method is pmm that is predictive mean matching and other things are not much of importance to us here default method pmm is there log rate poly rate wherever required it will select the method according to the uh, characteristics of that data i will type the data set name here i will not specify the imputation method air quality will run that and you can see that iterations have taken place and we have the imputed data and we can see the structure of that imputed 
of the data also and for that we'll use the attributes function attributes air quality in and we can see that their names are there this data is there imputed data sets are there m how many iterations are there and all those things we are not going into details of those uh, now we will see how to get the complete data we have to use that complete function for that uh, air quality complete i will give the name and there complete function we will use complete and in bracket we have to provide this imputed object air quality in give that and run that now complete data is there now we will see whether uh, this is complete data or not again using aggr function and to this aggr function this complete data will provide and you can see the uh, missing data is not there it got imputed we can view the imputed data also air quality in will paste there and we'll run that and you can see that data imputation has taken place no na values are there and most probably values which should be there if data was not missing those got uh, substituted uh, <coughs> for the missing values now we'll visualize uh, the original data with missing values and uh, imputed uh, imputed data to compare those whether imputation has taken place properly or not for that we are going to use just i will change the par so that we will get multiple graphs on same page mf row is equal to c 2 by 2 we will get four plots here and the first plot i will plot is box plot of uh, air quality original data air quality scalar ozone and uh, the name of the plot will be data with na and run that you can see here the box plot distribution of the uh, ozone data and now we will plot box plot to see distribution of the imputed also air quality dot complete contains the imputed data set where no missing values are there now and you can see that both are similar we can compare quality of imputation using t-test and we'll compare the data with missing values with the data with where we imputed those missing values and we cannot run paired t-test because some values are missing in this ozone and those are there in the uh, completed data therefore pairing is not possible when we run this test you can see here we have got p value 0 0.6 our null hypothesis was these two are not different there is no difference between imputed and not imputed data but here we are seeing the p value 0 0.6 that is uh, above our critical value 0 0.05 and therefore we have to accept here that these two data sets are not different from each other and there is no effect of imputation no worse effect of imputation on the uh, actual data set we will visualize using the density plot also i will plot the density plot plot density of original data air quality ozone and here we have to use that na.rm also because na values are there is equal to true and main will be data with any and we'll run that now this is there now to this we'll add the red line lines which will have the imputed or complete data this main i will not carry here and q 
just your air quality com and the color will change that line should appear different and line type also I will make dotted line and you can see that the original data with missing values and the complete data where missing values are imputed uh, both overlap quite nicely and we can see the same for uh, the solar R also just here I have to replace that with solar R and here also that I will replace with solar R and we will run that okay. both uh, data with NA values and imputed data both are overlapping quite nicely with each other and this is how we can impute using a uh, mice function from the mice package and we get very good data in other video i will show you how to use package amelia and i will prepare a third video to show use of uh, miss forest to impute missing data uh, thanks for watching this video if you have liked this video please click the like button please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share this video with your friends Thanks. Thanks for watching again.